Hey, welcome back to the channel, Getting It Done Fishing. All right, we're gonna get it done today by talking about October. Hey, we're in October, and October is here, and we're fishing October, and for most of us, this may be the last month of fish. It's the last time to catch some big ones, and this is it, right? This is October, and you know, I wanted to share with you, if I had one top water to use, which would it be? And I'm telling you what it is, I'm gonna break it down for you, and we're just gonna get started. All right, so October, especially first thing in the morning, you know, you get those really cool, cool, cool nights, for me, where I live, you know, we'll get down into the 40s. You know, again, November, forget about it. Um, you know, we're in the 40s all day long, so, you know, get in the 30s. But for in October, for where I live, you know, we get some, you know, low 50s, uh, high 40s. And, you know, the pond's not that cold because you still have the nice 70 uh, days. Sometimes you get the Indian summer, you get the 80 days. But even in the 60s, the sun's still warming up that pond during the day. So what you'll get is, you'll, obviously you get that moisture in the air, or the air is colder than the pond, you get some of that, you know, you get that mist or the, um, you, get that, you get that fog coming off that pond. And that's really the, the time I like to hit a top water. And this is pretty much, in my opinion, this is the only time of the year for the most part that you could start off in the day in the morning and fish the top water from start to finish and you're gonna be successful. It could be seven o'clock in the morning, it could be nine o'clock, it could be 12, it could be one, two, three. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is, you're gonna be throwing out top water and you're just gonna get it done. Those bass are pushed up into the shore, right? They're moved up, they're feeding, getting fat for the winter time. And once we get into that cold, cold, cold weather, sometimes those bass will stay really tight, but sometimes they'll uh, most of the times they'll start transitioning into that deeper water for the winter time. So again, probably the last month, yeah, you can really crank out some, some great stuff as far as the, the top water go and get some action. All right, so depending on where you're fishing or what kind of uh, pond you're fishing or what kind of lake you're fishing. So if you're fishing a, you know, a pond that still has vegetation, and you know you can't get something with hooks in there. You can, you're still limited. You're still limited to the same type of top waters that that, that you fished in the summertime. You know, again, I, I had a video like these. They're you know the toads or the paddle toads or paddle frogs. I got these from Timu. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, go search out search out the video. If not, um, let me know and I'll, I'll send you the link. You know, zoom paddle frog. Anytime you get into the top water, you get vegetation. You know, I'm definitely going with the you know, zoom paddle frog. I love these things. Great, great selection. You know, the other one is too, you could go into, you know, buzz bait. You know, my, my modification is a buzz bait. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna th definitely throw a buzz bait to something that you really wanna stick to. And, and we're gonna go into this a little bit. But again, if you're talking about vegetation, uh, you know, hollow body frogs. It, it, really, you're kind of limited on, on what you could fish. Creature crawls, don't forget about the creature crawls. I love the creature crawls. Um, again, those are like vegetation lures. And again, those are if you have, still have the hydrilla, still have algae, uh, you know, again, it hasn't been pushed down and, and you can't fish anything else. Now, a lot of times what happens, and a lot of times that vegetation will start to die and it'll kind of sink. You get the rains that pushes it down. And a lot of times you still have just pockets of it. And that's where I really love to like to throw maybe a buzz bait around there. You know, I'm not fishing on top of it, but I'm fishing the edges and around. And a lot of times those bass will come out of there, out of that cover, out of that, you know, ambush spot to come up and just hit it. So, you know, that's, that's why I like to buzz bait and you can still fish that stuff. All right, for, for the most part, I'm, what I'm talking about is when you're fishing and your pond's pretty clean, again, you have the cool nights, it's, a lot of that stuff is dead. And you basically, you're, you're open to fishing anything. And this is really the time, again, I go back to, you could really just throw anything, but the one lure, two lures, no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with two lures. Two lures that I really like is a toad. I like it in the fall because it's a bigger presentation. You know, again, those bass wanna eat, they wanna get fat, they know they need to get fat because it's winter time and there's not gonna be, there's not gonna be a whole lot of action going on in the winter time. So this is where I go to, the modification, the secret modification, or the modification I use, I take the skirt off and I throw the toad on there, or you can keep the skirt on and put a toad. This is a Z-Man uh, toad, uh, this is what I use. But that's that's pretty much money in the fall time. I love throwing the first thing in the morning and late in the afternoon, I always have. My two biggest bass I've ever caught in my life came off of a off a buzz bait in the fall time, in October, in the afternoon uh, was was a buzz bait. So again, I love a buzz bait in the fall time, especially October. And the other one is, you know, a whopper plopper. 
you know, a Whopper. So I got this from Timu. You know, I put a video out there. I love these things. They're like $2.99. A Whopper Plopper from River to Sea is, you know, they're going for $14, $15. Sometimes you get $19. I got these things from Timu. I fish these things. I do love these things. The same exact thing as, as a Whopper Plopper. I just, I just love these things. I, I, I really do. For the price, I have yet to have one break. So, you know, again, I'm going either one. But this is, I, I truly... Truly, 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 truly. I, I would buy these in a heartbeat over River to see. Uh, again, I know everybody makes them now. Like there's there's no really company that doesn't make them. I mean, I've seen really some knockoffs uh, from Walmart and different types of companies I never even heard of have these. But Timu is a great place to buy these things. And you can buy a ton of them. I do the same same colors. They have a frog. I, uh, do I have a frog? Yeah, I got the frog in here. They got the frog. I do like the frog. Um, I really, this is probably one of my, one of my favorite colors is the frog ones. And it does have, it does have some, a ball in there. It has a couple balls that knocks when it's coming through. And you know, this to me, if I'm going with a top water and, and it's going in, in the October, again, from start to finish, and if I only had to pick one top water and you know, again, I'm limited on time, you know, I, I don't. I don't sit there and fish every single day. I don't have, you know, eight hours. I don't go fishing for eight hours. So my time out on the water is very precious to me. And I try to maximize and try to take advantage of every single minute that I'm on the water. That's why a lot of times I only, you know, if I'm going to fish a top water, it's usually just one top water that I feel is the best for, it, for that situation. And in the fall time, in you know, October, I know I'm not going to waste my time fishing too. I'm not going to throw out a buzz bait and I'm not going to throw out a whopper pump. It's just not going to happen, right? If I feel like they're hitting top water and I am I getting bites on it, I'm definitely going, I'm sticking with the whopper plopper. You know, again, awesome bait. Now, I'm telling you, I, I could tell you stories upon stories of, of, of whopper plopper uh, baits in the fall time, but I'm gonna tell you one. So before I get to that, my number one lure for October, top water is a whopper plopper. Just the way it goes, you could cast them a mile, you could cover a ton of water, and when you catch them, you're catching them. I mean, you can go back and hit, you know, bass in the fall time, especially in October, they're, they're, they're schooled up. And you can catch one, you can catch two, you can catch three, you can catch four. You just catch them big and after, big and after, big and after, big and And you're going to be like, we're just getting it done, son. Getting it done. And that's how you do it. So you, you definitely, when you get that first hit, you get that bass, you got to cast right back in there. And reel that right back in there. Boom, another one. And another. Boom, boom, boom. You're just getting them. And that's what I like about the Whopper Plopper. You know, I love the buzz bait. My two personal uh, best, uh, best bass came out of buzz weight. I love a buzz bait. I love to throw a buzz bait. But the difference is, again, in the fall time, I should be able to fire up a school. And I want baits that are going to fire up that school. And a buzz bait does not do it as, as well as a whopper plopper. I want something that's going to fire them up. So, again, love them both. Can't go wrong with either one. But I'm going with a Whopper Plopper because, again, I could fire up a school. I fired up schools before in, in October. And it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. It, it could be 12 o'clock and the sun's shining off. I had a silver Whopper Plopper one time, and I, it was sunny as all could be. It was in October. I think I caught like 13 or 14 bass in this one little, this one little pocket. I cast, I think I caught like eight, eight and one, one around the other side, different angle, cast in the same pocket, caught like six or seven more. And within like 15 minutes. Like every time I cast, it's just boom, boom, I'm bringing them in. It was a silver whopper plopper getting it done. Does, I can tell you stories upon stories about that. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is. You're going to fire them up. If they're going to hit a top water, again, I'm not telling you to go fish. Hey, if you're, you're cast, I spend half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour with a whopper plopper. If they're hitting it, I'm sticking with it. And I'll stick with it all day long because I know that's what they're hitting. So, and I know I'm going to fire up at school. So, you know, again, the top water to go to, the end all, the BN, end all, ugh, the end all to all end alls in October for top water is definitely a whopper plopper. It's money. And the color, you know, it, again, I don't really get much into colors and whopper ploppers. I never really have. I never really thought much of them matter. Uh, but for me, the colors I go with is the frog, you know, again, Timu. You know, this one is a bluegill. And then, you know, sometimes I go with a white and I've always really gotten really good, uh, really good days fishing the white one. So again, for me in the fall time, October, it's the last month ago catching uh, bass on, on top water. And the only top water you need is, is a whopper plopper type bait, a plopper. And you guys are gonna get it done. 
and cast them out. You could cover a whole pond. That's what I'm saying. I could cover a whole pond, an acre, two acre lake, and probably an hour, not even an hour, with a water pump. Like I said, and you're going to know within the first half an hour, you're hitting those points, you're hitting that pockets, pushed up, and you're casting down that bank, and you're getting hits, you're going to get hits, you know it right away, and you're just getting it done. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, go buy some. You know, I'll drop the link below uh, on the ones from Timu. We can look at the Timu. There's just all different types and kinds. Um, but this is uh, comparable to the Wapa Proper River to see a 90. I do love these. Again, I've caught a ton of big bass with these things. They hold up. And again, you're just going to get it done. And again, the great thing about it is now you can cover a ton of water. But when you fire up a, a school of bass and you catch one, you fire up that school and you're just going to get it done. Bass after bass after bass after bass. It's one of the only top waters. One of the only top waters that you're going to throw in October that's going to be able to do that. And that's what October is all about. October is about firing up that school, getting them active, getting them going. They're aggressive bass. You get one, boom, right back in the same spot, boom, bigging after bigging, getting it done. So, all right, hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to hit the notification. Don't forget to hit the like. And don't forget to see, uh, you know, make sure there's supposed to be a new thing with YouTube. Uh, you know, cut that all out. So, hey, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll check you later, and see you next time on Getting It Done Fishing.